for just going up and dancing on a TV show. It was like the easiest thing in the world on one hand, and the hardest on the other. The schedule was rigorous. The, you know, the doc constantly, constantly washing what you eat because you had to do a tape or show the next week, and they, of course, wanted us in the tight spandex pants and all this stuff. So, any little thing, sure. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, <laughs>
Then they interviewed Richard Attenborough. Sir Richard Attenborough. Months after they interviewed us. And in the very beginning of the movie, everybody's like, oh, this is so great. Yeah, and everybody's just like, I don't care. You know, people are bitching because they're getting underpaid. We're like, so what? Who cares? We're making history here. Of course, line on film, the whole number. So everybody was just like, jolly, jolly, hunky dory. And oh, this is all great and groovy. It is so wonderful. And then after six months of the same person every day, Standing next to you in line, on the, the 7 in the morning, working till 7 at night, staying over, working again, rehearsing, never getting, pulling muscles, blizzard and everything. All the glory started to fade, with some. But with the other people who just kept it as, this is work and this is what we have to do. All the honesty again came back and paid off. So anyway, this book came out and that's what in, in the book Richard Ambrose says that one of the reasons Tony Fields got the character of Alan DeLuca because even in the screen test, his uh, relationship that he showed between he and his wife was very moving, even in the screen test, which is the final decision where they cast me. So, that stuff pays off. 